Good morning. Thank you for selecting You Don't Know Jack as your morning source for news and entertainment. It's never too early to hear a good fart joke. So, how many people will be playing? You're alone by yourself. That's great. Thank you. Is this your first time on the ride? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't recognize you right away. My apologies. I need you to type in your name now. Thanks a lot. I need to remind you that your buzzer is the letter B. Get ready, because you're going to feel blind for a second here. Oh, and try not to lose your shirt or pants. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Jack is brought to you by Sherman's Deprivation Tanks. Deprive yourself for a change. And now, say hello to your host, Guy Towers. Hey, hey, welcome to the game. You know, it's always a pleasure to meet someone with no ambition. I always look great in comparison. All righty, guys, the name Deprivation's the game. Let's do it, okay? Poke that buzzer, let's see how much cash you can get. Wow, pretty darn mediocre there. All right, well, this one's called... I'm not buck naked, I'm clothing deprived. Coming at you. If you wanted to deprive a person of their clothing, what should you do to them? De-strip them, denude them, denake them, or debuff them? Darling, please denude so I can see you in the nude. The word denude means to strip bare. But uh, please don't do it now, though. I just ate. How much will this one be worth? Hit that buzzer. There you go. Nice. Okay, here's your category. What are you depriving yourself of for Lent? Okay, here's the deal with Lent. Basically, Lent lasts for 40 days, and it starts on Ash Wednesday, which is the day after Shrove Tuesday, or Mardi Gras. The fifth Sunday of Lent is known as Passion Sunday, and after that, you got your Palm Sunday, which is the Sunday before Easter, which starts the Holy Week, which is the last week leading up to Easter. And finally, Lent ends at midnight on Holy Saturday, which is the day before Easter. And uh, I, I think you're not supposed to eat fish or something. I don't know. Anyway... On what day does Lent begin? Shrove Tuesday, Ash Wednesday, Palm Sunday, or Mardi Gras? Kick Ash! When you start seeing people with the charcoal on their foreheads, you know it's Lent. Either that or you're in the midst of a forest fire. Hit that buzzer and let's see that cash. And your category is... Hell Week deprived my brain of oxygen. Hey, you know the term hazing? You know, the bizarre rituals that fraternity and sorority pledges go through before they're members of the house? Yeah. Well, if you were to do some hazing back in the Old West, who or what would be your pledges? Cattle, sagebrush, barmaids, or clerks from the general store? In the Old West, hazing meant driving cattle across the prairie with a paddle. Tickle your buzzer. Let's see how much cash you're going to be playing for. Huh. Well, it's better than nothing. And it's going to be called... Dumb Guy at the Opera. Question, please. If you score front row tickets to Phantom Limb of the Opera, what might be your comment after the show? It was twice as long as any other show. I can see why nobody sees this anymore. Oh, wait. I thought I saw it, but I didn't. Or that sure was a scary tree. Phantom limb syndrome happens when a person loses a limb, but feels like they still have it. So, you might think you saw it when you really didn't. Or more likely, you'll see it and wish you'd gone to the ball game instead. How much cash we playing for, bud? This one'll be... Drinks around the guy bleeding from his eyes. Poor Oedipus. He can't see anymore. Well, I guess that's what he gets for gouging his own eyes out. If the Greek mythological figure Oedipus had literally wanted to drink himself blind, which of these could he have imbibed? His own blood, a methyl milkshake, a few ethanol shots, or an entire bottle of rum? Methyl is a very toxic form of alcohol that's known to cause blindness when drunk. 
To everybody, drinks are on me. Happy Mother's Day. All right, you buzz in and set. There was a dog who ate too much and vomits what he did. Oh. <laughs> 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 and vomits what he did. Welcome to Vomit. Oh, don't forget, buzz in on the first letter of the correct answer to win the cash. And the bonus is yours if you can grab all five letters. There we go. Russian liquor. Nastrovya. The flu. Influenza. Blank sunrise drink. Slap like chug. Mosquito disease. Hilarious, yeah! Come on, one more letter for the bonus. Beverage from a cow. Got milk. Atlantic or Pacific. Ocean. Sweet. Vomit. You got the bonus. Okay, my friend, there's your score. Uh, let's see what you can do to it. All right, buzz in and let's see what kind of dough you're playing for. This one's called... Merlin Olsen sold me. 4,892 bucks for this mother. Look out! If you order your sweetie a bouquet from Flowers in the Attic Florist, what will be delivered to his or her home? Children, ghosts, fugitives, or old photographs? Ah! Sorry. In the V.C. Andrews novel Flowers in the Attic, four children are locked in an attic by their grandmother. So, remind your sweetie to water the children. Otherwise, they're gonna wilt. Hit that buzzer and let's check out the cash. The category is... Crazy little thing called Bohemia. Okay, you remember that Queen song, Bohemian Rhapsody? Or if you're too young, uh, remember Wayne's World? Well, which of these lines from the Queen song, Bohemian Rhapsody, best describes the subject matter of the opera, La Boheme? Beelzebub has a devil put aside for me. I'm just a poor boy, I need no sympathy. Galileo, 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 or put a gun against his head. La Boheme is about a bunch of starving artists who sing lots of words that nobody understands. And Queen is a bunch of rich artists who sing lots of words that nobody understands. Hit your buzzer and snag the cat. And the category is... Johnny Crack Joke, and I don't care. Okay, see if you can figure out this analogy. Johnny Carson is to Joan Rivers as... Fox is to NBC, Jay Leno is to Jay Leno, Sizzleen is to breakfast, or Sugar is to NutraSweet. Oh, so they pour me into the iced tea and I say, Honey, not even I can make this crap taste sweet. <laughs> I mean, can we talk? Just as Joan Rivers used to sub for Johnny Carson, NutraSweet is a sugar substitute, which, uh, as of yet, is not retired. All right, smack your buzzer, and we'll see what dollar value you can snag. Nice pick. It's time for a dis or dad. This dis or dad's category name is Bono Rule. Okay, listen up. I'm going to read off seven expressions, and for each one, I want you to tell me if the expression starts with the word with or with the word without. Cash in for each one you get right, but you lose out for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. You got 30 seconds to nail all seven. And we're up. With or without it, bring us off. Flying colors. Further ado. Well done. Fail. A bang. A pot to piss in. Beautiful. All right, get a load of you. Ah, let's keep going. 
how much cash we plan. And for your viewing pleasure, used to be that a rubber hose was all you needed. So uh, you probably watched enough police shows in your time to be familiar with the Miranda rights, right? You know, you have the right to remain silent, you have the right to do whatever. Well, which of the following would not be another way that arresting officers could Mirandize a suspect? Send him to one of the moons of Uranus, turn him into a Venezuelan revolutionary, make him wear a fruit basket on his head, or worship him as the Roman goddess of art. All right, buddy, you're going downtown. Now, let me kiss your feet. The Roman goddess of the arts is not Miranda, but Minerva. The Greeks, and Pete Townsend, call her Athena. Hold that buzzer, let's see how much... Get ready for... This is the answer. Okay, gang, this here's gonna be a fill-in-the-blank question, so uh, prepare to type. Ready? Answer this. Could be it. Ty see, it pays to listen. I mean, not really, but it does give you an artificial moment of self-esteem. And hey, how often do you achieve even that much in the course of your pitiful life, huh? Tickle your buzzer and let's see how much cash you're gonna... Do you really think I'd deprive you of a clue? Well, here's one anyway. What do I have if I don't have you? Huh? A life. So can you hurry up and finish this game? Come on. Oh, and uh, good luck. Let's check out that final score. There she blows. It'll be such a blast Cause I'm going on a fast with you It'll be so great As we ignore our dinner plate of food Get those fools that let the stomachs expand If I wasn't so weak I would take your hand in mine and get hungry with me tonight soon both your heart and your head will feel so light deprivation It'll be so great losing half my body weight with you It'll be so fun as my bony skeleton shows through You're the girl of my dreams cause
cause you never eat Someday they'll carry us to the justice of the peace Deprivation and get hungry with me tonight Soon both your heart and your head will feel so light Deprivation In other news, three out of five celebrities... Don't you dare refuse me some 